this is where we are today. We got a lot more work to do. Um, we gotta get uh, this side off right here. And uh, the uh, exhaust side to take off back here. And we have the uh, side of the engine cover here to remove. And we'll, before we do that, we gotta make sure all the timing is right. Uh, so this is, this is basically what we have right now, you know, give you a nice big pan. Get uh, these two bolts off right here. We have, oops, sorry. We're gonna remove uh, this. It's not really necessary, but it'll make my life a lot easier. So, so we're gonna unscrew it so we get some more access to the bracket bolt right back there. That's holding this on, this plastic piece. So this is a 12 millimeter. Wow, that's that's tight. Let me get the other side, there's two of them. Looks like we got the whole stud with this one here. So that stud came out. Go ahead and put these back. Someone had to pull this off at one point. See the uh, paper around the bolt, so they had to put the paper around their socket to hold it in place. It's pretty cool. So yeah, that's been off before. Plastic out of the way. Said than done. Now that bracket is off, and now we gotta get a. Uh, what can we get out of the way over here? What's holding us up? Oh yeah, there's a plug back here. You see it? There's a plug right here. Oops, right there. So, I'm sorry, this is where we are. Driver's side, America. And we're trying to get that. It's hard to see, it's so weird. It's back there. It's right here. This wire goes into that plug. So we're gonna unplug that. Right there, there you go. Let's get rid of that so we can get that off. Can I one hand it? Nope. And you push down and you push off. A lot 
easier than it seems. Uh, I'm gonna get a screwdriver back there, I think. Or something. Uh, maybe we can push with this. Yeah, let's try that. There we go. We got a hose in the back now to get off, and then that, that's it. Yep. A hose, I don't know if this bracket here has to come off with this metal hose. Seems like it's in the way. See it right here? I don't know, we'll figure it out. All right, so we gotta get this loosened up. Why, because this, this black, Hose hair is in the way. Um, it's, it kind of like sits a little bit on top. It gets bolted down to the uh, piston. I mean, sorry, the uh, the head. So we need to move it over. So to do that, we're gonna have to. This blue hose here has a clip at the bottom. Looks like this. some bolt management here. Just kind of put that back in like that. So we do some more bolt management. We're going to put that bolt back right here for the bracket that we took off. Remember that? Yeah. Right there. That feels a little cross threaded. Well, not really, it's good. Right, so that's, that's the bolt right now. So, what I do, right, I often uh, use some foil and I spray it around the, the bracket on the hose. And what that does, it helps me um, slide the hose up. So just like this, just gonna helps you slide it back, you know. And then um, it all goes well. I should be able to break this free. The bond with the to move, you're good to go. Be careful because you know that'll damage the hose. So often, I'll wrap a sock around it like this. Let's see if I get a good bond here. There you go. Once you break it free, it'll you can work it out pretty easily. Oh, I got coolant in there. All right, that's it. Put this one down here on the hose that I came off of. That didn't take too long. Everything is off from the right side of the engine block. Driver's side America. So we're good, no more hoses, no more harnesses anywhere. So we are free. All right, let's go ahead and work on back there, the exhaust. So 
Those are twelves. One down there, I can't really show you. All right. So, can you see it right there? That's her fastener. So it's right back of there. All right, so you gotta get that, get that out. That's another 12. All right, so there's not much I can show you, right? But uh, I gotta heat that bolt up. I can feel it. it's gonna totally uh, break off on me, right? So what I have here is a tool called a bolt buster. It's an induction uh, heat tool. Um, and uh, I'll put a link in the description. But you see, you just kind of like flex this how you want. And then I gotta, you put the bolt in between right here. Hit this, and it'll heat up, and I'll totally like get that bolt nice and high. Get your this is an 11 millimeter bolt back here, so it's gonna reach back here, line it up, put this on top of it, hold it steady. Come 30 seconds. We're gonna start to see smoke. I see smoke. That's it. That thing is pretty toasty right now. I gotta be careful because I can't see, right? So, you know, get everything ready. Don't do, don't, don't do anything crazy like reach back there and uh, try to grab it or anything like that. Put that on here. Get the induction heater, ladies and gentlemen. It works like a charm. Ugh. Other than that, you'll be fighting with this thing. You can't really get any flames inside of here without damaging stuff, you know what I mean? So, induction heater is your best friend. All right, that's it, 11 millimeters back there. And that's what came out from underneath there. See all that rust? And so it's fighting so badly. I don't know how you do that without an induction heater. You'd end up just snapping that off. All right. It's weird because these two top ones are 12s, I think. Or that one just whittled it away. To, I think it just rusted down to like an 11, but it's actually a 12. Anyway, there you go. That's that. Now we gotta get some bolts off the back off of this um, exhaust manifold. All right, so we have five bolts back here. They're all 14 millimeters. And uh, I'll try to show them to you. Come on, mirror. Get in there. Okay, so this is gonna be one right, right there. See that, that's one. There's another one right over here. A little hard to see. Blah 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 blah. All right, I have to try to like censor that audio just now. Okay, there's another one right here, right there. You see it? Right there, and another one right here. It's right there, actually. You can see that. And there's one right down here. Right, oops, sorry. Right there. See it? So, it's five all day, 14 millimeters. Let's try to get them off. So I like to start with the hardest one. It's gonna be this one all the way down there. All right, there you go. So it's a super weird angle. It tilts like downwards. I got a long 3 eighths on there with the 
three inch extension. Let's see if you can break this free. That's a good sound. Okay, that's free. All right, do the rest for the other five, okay? That's coming. Yep, that fell down. So that stud came out. I mean, bolt. Don't ever say I never try to get you inside the action. Ugh. Man, this is insane. There goes the stud. That's one. That old stud came out. Lovely. And then the last one over here, let's see what that's going to give us. some bolt management from a long time ago. Remember, remember these little kind of castle nuts? So I'll screw those back on. Should have two more. I do. We gotta get some connectors on the passenger side of America disconnected over here. So let's see. From this harness. These are the push down pull types. No, oh, they never come out as easy as you want them to. There you go, that's one. and push through ones, you know, and then squeeze it, push it through, Let's see if we can do it you in the way, sometimes you can just kind of push down, oh, yeah, it's almost out anyway without any much help. Yeah, that's that. Okay, so now all of our work now is going to be on this left side, right here. So let's see passenger side America. 
we got to do a lot of uh, checking timing before we move forward. 